while since I've done one of these, mainly that's because I haven't been playing that many games with others. I recently started soloing again, and I have played um, a few, on a few, on a few party occasions. I've played some games, and I've also played some games with kids. Um, but until recently, until uh, last Sunday, I haven't been to the proper board game afternoon, which is usually the subject of this series of videos, Game and World. So. Um, I guess I'll just talk about first what I've been playing with the kids. What the kids I, I own a childcare with my wife, and what the kids have been into, and um, they play all sorts of games. They're not super discriminating, but one game they keep coming back to is Potbelly. Um, Potbelly is a game that I really should review. If nothing more, just to show you what it looks like. I can't really do that in this format because this is going to be a one take, and I'm done. Talk about thing. Um, but they like these pigs. The pigs' belly explode when you overfeed them. They don't explode, they just pop off, and that's a lot of fun. So, um, and it's got a weird sort of surreal, sick humor that I appreciate, that I really think is good for children. Um, with my wife, I recently, I, I've made some purchases as my support, um, various game store purchases, and also just to sort of, um, soothe the nerves. I think buying is soothing to me because I was I, I am of this culture. Um, but I got the innovation figures in the sand expansion. I've been playing that with my wife a few times. Um, we've gotten into playing games together again. For a while we weren't doing anything fun at all um, except for working. Which you can find joy in work and I have been doing that. Um, but and actually, the more I play games, the less I want to work, which is kind of, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard for me to do both. Um, but Innovation Figures in the Sand, um, I've written a bit about how some of the things about it are bothering me. And I, I, I don't know if I want to spend too much time talking about this since I'm kind of dealing with it in another medium. But um, there are, I don't know, I'm still kind of forming my opinions of it. I didn't immediately love it like I did. Uh, the game innovation, and like I did, uh, Echoes of the Past, which is the blue expansion for those of you who know the game a little bit. Um, it has some rules that just kind of feel like like they superficially constrain the game, but it also has, it's like a forest in a way, like wandering through the forest, I don't quite know where I'm going, and maybe that's just a sign of me getting older. Maybe I'm experiencing this new expansion, how people who are maybe older gamers, I've noticed sometimes, experience innovation as being a bit unsettling because it's just got so much But it, it has this with also being simple. Uh, fears in the sand is what it's called, you know, I've seen fears in the past before. It's also very simple, but um, it's, I, I, I just, to let you know, I've been playing it with all three expansions. As I, you know, I'm playing with my wife. She, we always play with Echoes in the blah blah blah. Anyway, um, but so maybe it's because I just don't know the cards. But I don't know. It's just I, I don't. I, I'm just uncertain how I feel about it, and I guess that's where I'm going to leave that. Uh, so back to game, board game afternoon. That's the that's the board game club at one of the two local shops that runs board game clubs. Um, first exciting thing is I got my game of lifeboat back. <laughs> I gave it to someone who wanted to paint my box that I kept locked lifeboat uh, with because I thought they might need to look at the cards to paint the box. I don't know. Um, and then I went on hiatus right after that for months on end, and so I didn't get it back till now. So I got that back. Nice job. It turns out they didn't paint it until the night before um, because they knew I was coming to get it. Um, but I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll come up, stand up and come closer so you can take a look. Nice paint job there. It's a wave, a lifeboat. I think I might cut and paste from the box lifeboat and put that there. And then in the back, I don't know if that's like a suitcase or something. It's very nice. It'll be nice on the shelf. But I love lifeboat. Um, I really got to give it some sort of video treatment. Soon, I don't know. Soon, I don't know. Soon, I'm still trying to get the tournament going, but there's a ton of games I want to review when I get time. Uh, I just don't really have that time, and then I have other things I want to do with that time. So we'll see. Um, but Lifeboat really deserves it. If I don't do it, someone else should. Um, 
So what happened at game day? Well, there's a bit of drama, and I love talking about drama with you, board game afternoon, uh, or game in world, but um, because I, I feel like it makes for gripping internet television, and also sometimes I feel like you could give me some advice, and here's a case where I, I'm really kind of stymied. Um, so uh, in the past, for those of you who are following this series, uh, Game in World, which I haven't done for a while, um, I've talked about a certain black sheep, and I think there was an occasion where I actually got angry with him. Um, but I like him, you know, he's somebody I, I look forward to seeing. He's got his idiosyncrasies, but maybe that's why I like him. Maybe I feel like that's, that gives me a little bit more permission to be just kind of how I am. You know, because I, I, you know, I think we all kind of cover things with certain company, but I feel like I can let my guard down a, a bit more with someone who has some very obvious problems. Um, that's kind of candid. What happened was he got suspended. He's not allowed back at the club. And I, I went, I went to the board game afternoon. And I didn't really know. I, I knew that because I had emailed with someone beforehand. I didn't know I was coming back and seeing how they're doing. Blah blah blah. Um, they let me know he was suspended. They didn't really give me any reason other than he just was doing what he was doing. And that's really the only re what you know what he always does. And that's really only the re the only reason I got. And it feels like it felt like to me. If, you're going to get suspended, there should be some something you did, some line you crossed that you weren't crossing before, or some, some process. And I, I'm part of the, the difficulty for me with this is I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened or because it happened while I was gone, but I still think it happened fairly recently. Um, so, so, okay, so for one, this guy, he's the only person who's come every single time he's there every week. This is like a a part of his life more than it's a part of anyone else's life, mine included. And I'm a very obsessive person, and I, you know, I really enjoy going to this thing normally. Um, it's a lot of fun, even if I don't love the game I play, I play which um, I'll get to that later. Um, but you know, there's several. Apparently, there's people who don't go because of him, and you know, he turns people off. I think there's also this movement. Um, within some members of the club that really want to promote it and like get a lot of people there, like they have this idea of quantity uh, equaling quality. And I, I'm all for you know, different people joining, but at the expense of um, kind of the core, what makes it special, uh, I don't know if I can get behind that. So, you know, and part of what makes it special is there are these like bizarre personalities there, you know, and that lets you feel maybe more comfortable with yourself, um, in part because they they have themselves open, they're open, uh, they don't, they're, they don't, for whatever reason, maybe they're not able to cover themselves up with so much makeup, um, which I cover myself up with all the time, just to kind of deal. I try not to too much, and I think I do less than many, but I still, you know, uh, will grin when I don't mean it. So anyway, I, I have this quandary. There's nothing I can do to get him back. But do I do I join him on hiatus? Apparently he had been warned. I've been trying to get some more information. He'd been warned several times, but I don't know what the warnings consisted of and whether they were really something he could do. Is the warning like, don't be yourself? Or is the warning, you know, don't creep out women with some lascivious remark, which is something that he has done, which I think he shouldn't do, but I haven't noticed him doing it recently. So I don't know if that was the case or what. Um, I mean, there's certainly, my, myself included, and I'll, I'll tell you about a certain thing that I've done that, that could you know make someone uncomfortable and not want to come back. Um, at this last one, there's this one guy who apparently doesn't like to be touched, and I didn't know that. So I like, we were on a team for the game we were playing, and I pat him on the arm and he said, I'll have to wash this now. And so, and then I was like, sorry. I was like, oh, well, since you have to wash it anyway, I'll just pat you again. But then I, you know, I kept doing it, and it took, me, it took me too long to realize that what I was doing was made him really uncomfortable, and then he didn't want to be around me for a little bit. Then he came back, because I was like, you know, I apologize, and I was I trying to be really respectful that he has this bubble that I didn't realize he had. Um, but anyway, that's the kind of thing that, uh, you know, could be that he doesn't want to come back because of me. Does that mean I shouldn't be there? I don't think so. I, 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 I tend to sing a lot at 
game, especially if there's if the game's going really slow or I'm having fun or I just you know that could really bother someone. Should I not have? Should I not be there? And then how would I respond if I was warned not to do that? Or if I was warned in some more general terms, you're making people uncomfortable. Please stop doing that. Maybe I don't, you know, my personality is such that I don't know how I'm making people uncomfortable. So what do I do then? And again, here's a case where since I don't know what the warning was, I really can't form an opinion on that. Um, so I just don't know. Do I want to be a, a part of a, a club that uh, excludes people because other people don't want to be around them? Do I want to be with those people that can't deal with this guy. I, I don't know. So that's my quandary. If you have any advice, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, game we played, we only played one game, and it was supposed to be a short game. Um, and it was a game I was kind of interested in trying because I heard some things about it. Uh, Commanding Hall. Um, if you don't know anything about Commanding Hall, it's a New York, you know, like in New York, maybe in the 20s. Uh, it's Gangs of New York, if you've seen that movie. I haven't seen many movies, but for some reason I've seen that one. Um, and you're trying, it's an area control game, basically. Uh, how, it was, the, the person who ran the game wasn't the person who owned the game. And so, just kind of reading the rule book as we went and explaining as we go. It wasn't until like halfway through the game that I found out you could negotiate. Uh, now, these certain people that I was playing with are not negotiators at all, which, um, I'm not a good negotiator, but I enjoy that about games. I enjoy talking. I enjoy that aspect of games. Uh, I enjoy when it's not just everyone's in their head trying to do math to beat the other person. I think uh, the, the social situations and the interactions are what makes the game really interesting. And any multiplayer game I'm going to submit, I'm going to go out on a limb, I think can provide for that uh, if you're allowed to talk in this game. You know, it says you can make negotiations, you can promise things, whatever. So basically the game is you put guys down, you can put immigrants down, and then you see who has the most votes. And if you have, if you have, you get these like political control chips, and if you have an immigrant of the same color, which is a cube, if you have, I don't even know why I have to call it an immigrant, if you have a cube of the same color as the political control chip in an area, you can you know, secretly bid those, and everyone secretly bids um, who, who, who has a contention on that particular area, and then with, by putting chips in their hand, and then reveals and wins, or loses. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. I didn't find out you can negotiate until halfway through, so then I was like, oh, okay, so then, so my kind of thing, and I didn't really want to, uh, I don't know, I have a resistance to playing to win sometimes. <laughs> I don't mind winning, but I, I feel like I want to do something more with the game. So I was like, I just want to really want to negotiate. So the people I was playing with, I was two people who are just kind of like mathletes. Not, and I don't mean this disparagingly, they, they think in a different way than me. They, they like to, you know, they're, if you're, if you're, if you're familiar with Euro games or that, that idea, there are people who really like Euro games and they like kind of simpler Euro games or they, they can deal with some complexity. Um, and they're good. They're very good players. They're very good at that. And they're nice people, and I really enjoy them. Uh, but they're not into negotiation at all. I and mean, the other two people I was playing with are just kind of in their own world. They were just struck, you know, there's numerous areas in this game. I don't know how many, um, maybe 20. But they were just battling each other over two <laughs> the whole game. Just like putting all the resources into this one area, like Area 13, if you know the game. Area 13, there was a lot of struggle over it, and there was no reason for it, you know, because you get one point per area, so you don't really want to put all your resources in one area. But anyway, so they were kind of a non-issue for most of the games. So it was really me and these two kind of Euro players, um, and they didn't want to negotiate. And I had set it up in these cases where it was like, you know, we were contending in an even number of places. We can just split them. We don't have to use our political chips and whatnot. And the guy didn't want to do it, so you know I I struggled with them. I started off ahead. I was the first mayor, which was fun because if you're the mayor, you can give everyone else uh, titles, and that was my favorite. I think that was the highlight of the game for me. But it ended up being an interesting story. Just I mean, the other two's kind of struggle over the area that was interesting, and then the sort of negotiation dynamic became interesting because they didn't want to negotiate. And I guess that's a that's a you know they're humans, so that's a that's a valid social interaction too. Um, and so that 
round, neither of us did very well because we ended up just battling. And then the third per third lady, she didn't have anyone to contend with. The other two were canceling each other out. We were con canceling each other out. So she came up ahead. So then after that, he ended up negotiating with me, and she had a big lead. And so you know, I was just like, I'll help him. I didn't like go out of my way, but I gave him some things I didn't have to, just because I like to negotiate. And you know, it was. And it, it wasn't like any high level negotiation, it was just like, okay, we'll split things up. And so he ended up winning, and that was the game. And that was fun. It was, um, it's not a game I, I appreciate the game. It's not a game I would jump into playing again. Maybe if it had like a 45 minute play time, which I think is what it's supposed to have, but we had some slower people playing. Uh, myself, one, uh, it was one of them. And, you know, it was a lot of chatting too. It was very nice. Um, so that was my board game afternoon. I don't know if I'm going back or not. Uh, at least not for a while. Not next week anyway, because I'm busy. But in the future, I don't know what I'm going to do. And maybe you can help me with that. Nice talking to you again.